Hello everyone. <clears throat> it is Monday and way past 2 p.m. Brisbane time. But anyway, I'll just wait for everyone to find out that I am online. You don't want to hear me in stereo, so let me just uh, minimize, mute myself on my laptop. Okay, so hello everyone. Now I've got to try and watch on my laptop because my iPad is flat, and I'm still in a little bit of holiday mode. So you know, just you know, bear with me today. But I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. Good afternoon, Kathy and Megan. Hello. All right, so I hopefully can see comments and let's see how we go, hey? Well, did everyone have a lovely Christmas? I can't believe it's been and gone already. Oh my gosh, has the time flown far out? It's like nearly New Year's already and I keep losing track of what day it is and oh, I can't believe you had all that big build up to Christmas and all of a sudden it's gone and over with and... Wow, it's just so quickly. All right, anyway, so while we're waiting for a few more people to come on, I just wanted to hope, wish you all a Merry Christmas if you didn't catch me before Christmas. And if you are going anywhere for New Year's on the road, please be safe and, uh, and careful. Yeah, Megan, look, I... You know like I love poppies I always have so when this poppy range was in the new catalog coming out it's like oh, had to have it instantly because look I have a great affinity for poppies I'm gonna try and not spill my coffee that's in this mug but can you see my coffee mug that's got poppies all over it I bought that at the war memorial in Canberra a few years ago and I love it my poppy mug so I needed to um have an afternoon catch-up because um, the reason I'm late, I went to the doctors and like new doctor on, the, the normal doctor um, obviously is taking some leave. So the new doctor was on by herself and she was running like an hour late, which is not very nice. So, oh, but anyway, I got there in the end and got home again and then, yeah, couldn't make my two o'clock time. But we're here now. And now we have a few more people watching Then I know everyone's got notification that I'm live. I wanted to show you today one of the things that's coming in the um, I keep wanting to say occasions catalog but it's called the mini catalog now the 2020 mini catalog are these gorgeous little elements here they are from the peaceful poppies elements and uh, I don't know the price but I know they're quite expensive they're only like $12.25 or something like that I could be wrong um, Yes, Megan, I know. Very crazy. And yes, she actually told me what it was. And she gave me this cool little brochure. It's not Carvel Tunnel, like we were all thinking. It's the Gravain Tendonitis of the Thumb. There you go. So that's what it is. And that's what I have to do. So um, I have to go to an OT and first of all, get a scan, go to an OT um, and they're going to give me a, a custom-made brace that's going to immobilize my wrist and thumb that will be very interesting to work with but anyway at this point I had to laugh at the most because she said so what do you do for work and I said oh I craft all the time and she goes oh okay and then as we're talking about what's wrong with my thumb and she goes you have to let it rest for four to six weeks what do you think my reaction was mm-hmm I just laughed and went, yeah, that is not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'll just have to live with the pain then, I guess. Because, <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, there's no way I'm not crafting for four to six weeks. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, back to these Poppy's Elements. And I keep forgetting the name. I'm not familiar with any of the names yet from the new catalogue. Peaceful Poppy's Elements. Really cool. These are on quite a thick, glossy cardstock. And they just pop out. So they're, they're pre um I don't know what the term is pre die cut I guess and you just pop them out lots of lovely different um, images 
the single poppies, the little strand poppies. And these ones that I've used on this card today. Two sheets of those. Okay, and then you get these really cool black elements as well. And these are embossed already in black. So they are really cool. So like you could, with using these, you can make a card without doing any stamping whatsoever. So, so easy. And you get quite a lot in a pack. So two sheets of that as well. You get the circle one and then the, the banner one there. And then I love these. These are vellum. And they are white embossed. So that when you colour them, um, you can get the colour. Like if you use blends on the back. Or even just use them on a plain piece of um, cardstock to bring up the white embossing. Really nice. Some leaves, the flowers, different flowers. I know they're probably a bit hard to see. But just watch this space and I will probably demonstrate these using them on a card or you'll see projects pop up on my page Beryl you can't hear me oh no turn your volume up um I don't know what else to suggest darling uh, maybe watch the replay I don't know sorry but I am talking everyone else can hear me because I know they're answering me so I'm sorry um all right so there's two sheets of those of vellum and then you got these, you can tell I've already used some of these. This is actually watercolour paper, that same images, and they're white embossed as well. And they are really, really cool. I've used them on a project that if you are in my VIP group, I will um, replicate later in the week. Now, normally I do my VIP uh, live on a Thursday, but this Thursday, we are going up to Gympie to meet our new puppy. So I'm going to have to possibly do it on Friday or maybe Wednesday afternoon. I'll work out what's best and then let you know. So if you are a customer of mine, so you've purchased off me and I've invited you to my VIP group, then just know that the Facebook Live is not going to be on Thursday. So I'm going to get any puppy cuddles. All right, so they're the elements. I wanted to show you them because they are so quick and easy to make a card with. So... I'm going to recreate this card, but we might do, a, I might attempt a little bit of colouring with these and see how we go. I can't promise anything because like my wrist really hurts, so. Oh, Megan, that's a shame you can't come this Friday. Never mind. Alright, so. First step, I'm going to try and colour some of these and I'm just going to grab a colour blend. Um, I don't know what this one is. Dark Poppy Parade. I'm not even going to attempt to do shading because it never ever works really well on vellum. And this is, goes against all the doctor's rules of resting my hand because writing and things are the worst. But anyway, I'm just going to colour on the back and I'm probably going to go outside the lines and that's not going to worry me. Right, so just going to colour a few of these. We will do. Actually, I might do a completely different design card. Hey, just because I can. They're really easy to work with the vellum when you want to colour it. So there's our poppies coloured. Oh, how good do they look? Wow. All right, now I want to do a few leaves, so I'll grab a green. Let's go with whatever this one is, uh, dark granny apple green. And I will find a few of the leaves. No, I'm sorry, I've got to have an even number of leaves, so it'll have to be two either side. <laughs> Can't do odd unless it's in embellishments. Thank you for sharing, Carol, and welcome. Thank you for coming. All right, so that, how simple was that to colour? Really, really easy. So I'm just going to pop them out, and because they're alcohol inks, they dry pretty quick. So you don't have to wait around, no using the heat tool or anything. Just pop them straight out.
Now I don't have a design in my head, so I'm going to loosely recreate something using this one as my inspiration. Megan, we are getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Benji. So, can't wait. I'm not really a dog person, but I guess I'll come around to it. <laughs> I'm not really a cat person either, but we've got one of them too. <laughs> Alright, so here's my base card. I've already cut to size, scored and burnished. And then I'm going to use this paper and it's from the poppy dsp which is called peaceful poppies designer series paper but i'm actually using from the little pack that you get when you join stampin up in january through to march during celebration from the 3rd of january you get this awesome pack it's a sampler pack of all the paper in the catalog it's not one of every piece of paper that's in the and um mini catalog it's a sample so you'll get, um, I think there's one or two of each of the paper um, packs, but four sheets of each. So like, if I'm making any sense, probably not. Anyway, there's a great variety of paper in there and gives you a really good idea of all the paper that's in the mini catalog. Fantastic. But you can only get that if you join. And I'm going to try and keep to this one. So... I'm going to bring out the new mini trimmer again. You can only get this if you join. It's really cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at comments. Um, Beryl, is this the poppy elements? Yes, it is. You don't seem to be able to hear anything. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, good suggestion, Megan. Go out, Beryl, and come back in. Something's not right. You've muted something, like... If, if you're watching on your phone, then try putting your volume all the way up. Um, I, if you're on your iPad, same thing. Um, on your laptop, you may have muted it. You have headphones plugged in. Lots of different reasons. That's why I'm so glad to be out of IT support, because there's so many different reasons as to why things don't happen. Anyway, so this is one of the papers from the, the Poppies range. And it's in the pack. So you can see I've used this pack because I love the 6x6. Six six. It's so easy when you've got limited desk space. So easy to cut up. And I haven't cut into my, my big pack yet. Um, I've just been using this. And I've probably made um, six cards, I guess. I made about four yesterday using this. So there's lots in this pack. It's really, really cool. Anyway, so this is the mini trimmer that you get also guillotine style so if you join again this is the guillotine trimmer really cool great size if you're a scrapbooker for trimming down your photos or doing your different elements for your card fronts it is not big enough to cut an a4 sheet of paper all the way down because it does only go down to i'll get the ruler right it does go down to six and a quarter or something like that so you can only cut down as far as this blade goes which is to here so you can't put like your A4 sheet in there and get a whole a whole cut. It's not designed for that either. It is designed for your smaller elements. So if you have, and I know people who have all their card bases cut to size like this and all their pieces of designer series paper cut to 6x4 as well, it's designed for those people. They will find it awesome because everything's pre-cut. All the big stuff's pre-cut. When you go to make a card, you just grab a card base grab your pre-cut designer series paper and this trimmer is all that you'll need for it all right so it is really handy now i'm just going to cut this at the width of the card which is four and one eighth and when you're using this little trimmer you do need to hold this bar this um, plastic guide one it will protect your fingers from getting sliced and the other is it will keep the paper in place. Without it, the paper will slide around a little bit. So I'm just going to hold that there. Always watch your fingers are not over the edge. Even though the guide's there, it's, it is only small, easy to chop off a fingernail. And we don't want that. All right, so I'm just going to glue that there. Nothing fancy about the layers on this card. 
You could use the green side as well. I wonder if we should try that. Let's, let's, all right, let's be different. Let's try the green side. Sorry, poppies, you're going to get glued down. So has anyone got any plans for New Year's? We are staying home. Going to play our favourite game, our board game of Caltini Rummy. Kids might uh, sit up, watch the Sydney fireworks, I don't know. Um, Beryl, iMac, I don't know. When do I press live? No, you don't press the live, you just click on... When you go to my page, you will see... Um, me and you just hit there should be an arrow in the middle of the the feed just press that even though you can't hear what i'm saying someone type it for me please <laughs> all right so now i've lost my elements pack that i wanted to use here we go so i'm just going to pop one of these black whoops i've got things there you go there's one already out things flying at me everywhere just going to glue that down there all right, so while we're talking about the poppies, I have my uh, next Stamping by Mail starting January 1. Um, I've released that already for early sign up because it's using the poppies. So if you um, want eight project kits with instructions and the Painter Poppies stamp set, then look at signing up for my Stamping by Mail. It's only $45. You get the stamp set and eight project kits with full color instructions and uh, lifetime access to the tutorials. As long as where I host the tutorials doesn't go defunct, then you'll have lifetime access to those tutorials. So you should be right. And lots of fantastic projects. I'm just trying to find eh, my white DSP. I found it. Okay, so I just want to cut a bit here. I don't think I measured that uh, that's two by look at me I'm measuring ladies who come to class will go that's very strange two by three and a quarter again our trusty little trimmer so I'm gonna do three and a quarter so if you're a centimeter measurer there's centimeters on this as well as the inches there's no difference in highlighting the quarters the half or the three quarter inches you just got to count your lines across so like the half is not bold it's just another vertical line all right i've got to get used to holding this bar because i'm used to a normal trimmer where you don't need to do that all right by what did i say two sounds good that looks smaller hey by two You've got it at last, Beryl. Yay, now you've missed everything I said. Oh, no. <laughs> I will try and go back. We are painting a cup of cocoa at a church function on 11 by 14 canvas. Is that for New Year's, Cheryl? That sounds excellent. Wow, that sounds really cool. Or are you doing it now while watching me? No, because that would be rude if you're doing that. What was that? Three and a quarter by two. All right, so now I'm going to make my mat. I love this little trimmer. You know, when I first looked at it, I went, oh, that's a bit small. But um, now it's just a really good size. So this was three and a quarter, wasn't it? Plus two. And I think I'm going to start doing what a few other people I know do and get all my card bases cut to size and then all my card fronts cut to size. And then I'll just need this on my desk and not my big trimmer. So then like the DSP, even though it's cut to card front sides, I can still cut it smaller into strips using this. It'll be perfect. Because I'm sure you're all like me. And as you get crafting, you get a bigger mess around you. And your once big space you had to craft in gets really, really small. Right, I need to stop gabbing so much because my phone is really flat as well. So let me uh, get crafting so you don't suddenly, or I don't suddenly disappear because I've gone flat. Right. Yeah, so I don't want to harp on joining my team, but I think if you are an avid crafter and you just have to have it all, it's seriously the best thing to do because you uh, get a discount on all your purchases. I spoil my team 
Beryl will know. Beryl's on my team. She knows that I spoil everyone. And, uh, yeah, so I love my little team. I'm just going to do this one a little bit differently. And we are just going to stick them on there, I think. Yep. I might put this on dimensionals because I can't put the flowers on dimensionals because they are vellum. And you yeah, know, these are the little ones, but they're the first on hand, so they still work as good as the big ones. Here we go, it's probably enough, hey. Oh, God. This, is, this is a bit that hurts. <laughs> Don't let the doctor see me doing this. <laughs> Anyone else doing anything for New Year's? That was a very tame now. Which with two teenage kids is probably a bit different, but anyway. Alright, so now, you know what I've done? I've stuck that on and I have a sentiment. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? See, too much talking, losing the plot. Now I'm just going to put a vellum, a vellum, no, a glue dot in the middle of this flower. Because you're not going to see it, because that's where the white bit is. So we'll just pop that there and hopefully the same with the others if I fold my glue dot over which is what I do a lot when I do bows okay just use your pokey tool fold it over so it's a bit smaller and that's just come off but that doesn't matter and then you can see where the white bit is on the back here so that's where I'm going to put my glue dot so it's not going to be seen because normally with vellum, most adhesives will show. So you've got to look for ways to hide the glue. And I find this works really well. I could do that, Megan. Use my take pick tool to, um, yes, my pokey tool, officially known as the take your pick tool, <laughs> to take the backings off with. That's a brilliant idea. Thank you. I will still be using that. Jean, you got home yesterday with three passes from Stampin' Up. Oh, dear. That's good. Lots of new stuff to play with. All right. So now with the Lees, obviously I can't do that because they, you know, there's nowhere to hide really. So if we get the right ones. We're just going to put a glue dot on the bottom of them. Actually, we might put it under there because if I do that, see how they're going to... Oh, I'm sorry. They're going to be seen. So let's get a bit sneaky. And let's tuck them under. Here. Sorry if my head gets in the way. There we go. There's one. Let's put this one on. Might get a bit lost on the green paper, but... I'm sure you'll still be able to see it to some extent. Okay, there's the second one. Oh, look, my head did, did get in the way. So my laptop's a bit slow. It's just catching up. So I can see my head got in the way. I'm sorry, now you can see all how grey I am. <gasps> Goodness. And then this one is going the wrong way. Oh no. Oh, let's find another one. I can't have that. I can't have that leaf going the wrong way. So it needs to be going that way. It's one of them I need to colour. Alright, so let's just quickly this one put that one on for another card and if you're local to me and you want to come to class then every um, first and third Fridays I do a class at the local hall starts at 10 a.m. $20 for the class or free with a 25 or more 
$25 or more order. And the next one is this coming Friday and we're using the poppies. And if you can't make it to class, I always have the that stamping my mail option, which is a bigger class. Because at normal class we do uh, four cards, stamping my mail we do eight. So now I've got to think of something to do a sentiment on. So how am I going to fix that, ladies? Help me out. Because I've done a boo-boo. We could... Oh, that's really silly. I should have, that would have been really pretty. I forgot to stamp a sentiment. Oh, well. Let's do a thank you. Let's put it on some white and then work out what we're doing. Could I have it coming off like that, like a banner? Would it be too much if I used one of these? black banners they're probably too big the circle's too big isn't it yep take oh, it's too lazy <laughs> takes away from the flowers too much and I think this might be too big as well stamp on there oh I don't know Megan it might go a bit oh, did two layers again yeah no way too big oh if I use the stamp apparatus maybe do you reckon should I try that? Should I do that? Or should I? Oh, Megan, if I wreck it, you know you're not going to live it down. God, let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Let's live dangerously. No, the black banner. Really? I don't like the black banner. Oh. Oh, it's all too hard. All right, let's get rid of this. Get a magnet out. Yeah, I'm thinking the banner. Oh, I don't want to wreck it. I actually like the idea of it hanging off. Hey, do you reckon? Huh. Could I do it hanging off and then a couple more or a flower up there, do you think? Let's try that. I'm not game to do the stamparatus. Goodness, I don't want to wreck it. Right, we will sort this. Let's get a little bit. Stamp. Our thank you. Oops, if I can get it on the block. Memento. My coffee's probably going cold. Hanging off me, Beryl? Yes. Everyone wants me to let it hang. Okay, I'm going to let it hang. Watch out. All right, my head's going to get in the way again. I'm sorry. Who wants to give me a free colour on my hair? Get rid of all those lovely greys that you can see. The doctor said to me today, actually, a new doctor, and she's just, you know, looking at my records and she's going, how old are you? Oh, she says, I'm like, oh, don't say it. I don't want to be reminded. My goodness. It's not until you hear someone say it and go, man, I don't feel that old. Although yesterday, I was having a bad day with my wrist and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I felt 100 yesterday. But normally, I still think I'm back at school. I definitely don't feel like I'm <laughs> that old. I'm not telling you all. Right, here we go. Are you all sick of me yet? Because I've got another idea. What about if I colour another one of these and then I can use that... Um, um, what's it called? Leaf. I do one of the bigger ones at the top because it's got to be even, and right now it's a bit not even. Like it has to be pleasing. When I first started teaching scrapbooking, I was taught one of the layout methods of doing a scrapbook page, which works for cards as well, and it's like a Z. People read, when they read a page or look at an object, like an art hanging art or a um, piece of art or anything like that, they tend to look at things in a Z. It's like our natural reading, the way we read. You start at the top left corner, you go across to the right, you come down to the bottom left and across to the right. So when you're designing something, you have to try and incorporate elements into that top left 
and that bottom, sorry, top right and bottom left to draw people's eyes. So it's a natural progression from them to move from that corner down to the bottom. So even though my thank you would do that, I think I need to add a flower at the top. So there you go, that's today's little words of wisdom. And it's not going under there because I have a dimensional. So we might if the dimensional and tuck it under. Let's get a glue dot on it. And talking about scrapbooking, I know I put a post up the other day asking if if you had the opportunity to come to another class. Um, someone was hosting another class, what would you prefer, technique or scrapbooking? And a lot of people answered technique. But I'm learning more to scrapbooking because I don't think it's something we do enough of. So I just, yeah, I'm not sure I'm still thinking about it. All right, so let's put our little leaf under there. That means I need to colour another one now. So yes, I think I'm tempted to do an extra scrapbooking or an extra scrapbooking class. But my extra class I think might be a scrapbooking class because people these days don't even look at their photos. They're on their phones mostly. And how often do you go back and look at photos on your phone? Probably never. So I think now more than ever, we have a need to get our memories out into albums, scrapbook albums for people to see. Because there's not the amount of, like people don't use photo albums anymore either. So it's not like you used to have all these photo albums in your bookcase and occasionally, you know, you'd, you'd go back and have a look at them all. People don't do that anymore. They're just on their electronic devices and that's it. That's where they stay. Unless you want to repost one onto Facebook or something, people don't ever look at them, which is sad. So I'm thinking there's a need for some memory keeping to happen. So that's what I'm going to do. And yes, I think possibly, I don't like the layout of those leaves, but it is what it is now. I'm not changing it. Um, my How am my desk getting such a mess? Oh, look, there you go. Right, we're going to matte this in black because it's just a little bit lost. And again, see, that's how this little trimmer is going to be so, so handy. Because stuff's creeping in on my desk. So I just bring out this little dude, takes next to no room. Look at that. So good. Now I have to try and guess here because I didn't measure that bit of white. So I've got to try and guess how much room to leave as I'm doing that. And this is going to be a little bit trickier, but we can do it. Just make sure that it is straight with that line down there and then I should get a straight cut. How good is that? Oh, I love that little trimmer. All right, that is misbehaving now. Let's put another dimensional on there. Okay, I'm nearly done. I'm nearly, nearly there. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're all enjoying your holidays if you're on holidays. Every day is a holiday to me. So I get to craft every day so it just doesn't feel like work. All right, and then I'm just going to put dimensionals under this side. And then glue on this side. Hopefully I've got that around the right way, yes. Oh, I think we saved that card. Thank you, everyone, for your help in that. Oh, look at that. Should we add some of these sequins? I'm in love with these sequins. The poppy sequins. 
Oh, peaceful poppy sequins. They are so pretty. And if you haven't seen them, oh my gosh, there is little flower shapes in here as well as your normal sequins. So you've got, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just see if I can zoom in a minute. No, it's stuck to me. Get off. Oh, not there. Get off. There we go. And I haven't gone flat yet. That's pretty cool. Let me zoom in. Oh, there we go. Bring that down. All right, now, is it focusing? Does that just focus? Probably not. Are they blurry? They look it to me. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. So they're the little sequins. So you got black ones, clear ones, uh, the Poppy Parade type ones, that other pink, which possibly is, I don't know, Flirty Flamingo or something, um, gold ones, and then you've got the little flower ones in the colours as well. They are so, so cute. Right, best way to put these on is with the um, liquid, what's it called, fine tip glue pen, and I have to use tweezers. And of course, you take your pick tool. So I think I want to put on, um, let's add some gold ones because I love gold. So this is how I do it. I just put a big glob of the fine tip glue pen on. Grab up a sequin. Drop it in, in the spot. Oops. Hold it down with my tweezers. For maybe count to five. One, two, three. It's raining, Angie. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, Angie, my hand will get better if I rest it for four to six weeks, according to the doctor. Not going to happen. But anyway, I'll just muddle along. At least I know now, operation is the last resort, which is great. Because I don't want an operation. Alright, another... Gold one. Come here, slippery sucker. Drop it into place. Ah, stay. There we go. The glue will hold it eventually once I get it in the right place. It's been in the mid 40s, so I oh know it's really bad down there. And now there's lots of. Um, fires down there so New South Wales and Queensland we've had our turn and now it's Victoria's turn all right so you get to vote where I put the last sequin either up here top left or down here in the somewhere around the join of the thank you so let me know while I have a bit more coffee in my poppy mug Oh, I love poppies. Oh, I actually forgot to bring in. I have a, um, like a little clutch that I take sometimes when I go shopping when I don't want a handbag. And it's just, um, you put your cards in there, a bit of money, and it's got room for your phone as well. And guess what? It is poppies. It was actually made by a friend um, of mine who's an artist, and she put some, um, she made up handbags and things, or got made up handbags and things like that using her designs. So, um, yeah, I couldn't help but get one. Right, so what do we got? On the white panel, here, Megan, top left, top left on the smaller mat. Here, oh look, now there's too many choices, ladies. So, wait, I can't, my mouse is not working. Here we go. On the white panel, under the poppy. Oh no, I can't get everyone to, to agree. Let me get a few and I'll place them different places. Yeah, no. Did I do that already? I think I did. Needs to be a triangle with that. So that's another rule. Needs to be a triangle. And I'm going to go, no, I don't like it there.
Next to the two leaves at the bottom right, Nicole. Next to the two leaves at the bottom right. Down here. See, that's where I just had it. I'm thinking maybe. It's still a triangle, isn't it? That'll work. Top left above the leaf up there. Mm. Gosh. All right. It's going where it is. That's it. I have decided. It's upside down. It's my glue. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention too, um, my laser cut stamping by mail. Got bubbles in, I think. Registration closes for that tomorrow. So if you wanted to get that stamping by mail using the beautiful laser cut paper, then please make sure you register today or tomorrow. And as part of that class, it's only $45 and you get the whole pack, the 12 by 12 that uh, shimmery detailed laser cut paper it is beautiful and you'll get uh, eight possibly ten I can't oh that terrible I've done it oh my gosh you get lots of projects using that paper it's really really cool and I hardly use any of it so you get the whole rest of the pack to do what you want with so that closes tomorrow if you want to sign up for that just go to my blog www.simplystampingwithnarelle.com and on the menu at the top there's a stamping by mail option choose that and you'll see the two um, offerings that I have at the moment which is the laser cut paper and the poppies and then a registration button for each and then down further on the page is an explanation of how it works so if you're not familiar with how my Stamping by Mail works, then please go and read that. And there we go. There's today's card. That took longer than okay. Thank you for the input, everyone. I really, really like that card. And I hope it's in shot because I've been moving it around and I zoomed in. And Alrighty, there we go. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget, uh, you can order from the new catalogue on January 3rd, which is Friday same day i have my next class so i might just pop on in the afternoon and do a live um, and i can actually show you some things in the catalog so that'll be nice and thank you for watching i hope you all have a wonderful and safe new year and don't forget if you want this cool little trimmer oh my god it's a must have i tell you if you want this and the pack of paper then join my team i have a lovely little team not so little anymore it is growing and uh yeah if you need any details on what's involved in joining then please let me know these are extras for joining during celebration so it's the normal kit 169 dollars of which you get 235 dollars worth of product so bonus you're already getting extra product for what you're paying for plus you get the trimmer and this pack of paper but that is only until the end of march while celebration is on then you'll get a 20% discount on all your purchases and be part of my team. And everyone in my team gets all my classes. I do all the tutorials for my classes for free. So that's like an extra $90 of value a month because my stamping my mails are around $45 a month. And all my downline, all my team members get all those tutorials that other people have to pay for for free. So, and lots of other, other benefits, other great benefits I should say. I'm joining my team so there we go there's today's cards that was a, a roughly use that one as a sample or an inspiration for this one thanks for being here everyone have a lovely and safe new year and i will catch you all sometime hopefully later this week or next monday have a great one bye bye